Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to be showing you guys how you can speed up your Windows 10 or 11 computer. I am currently running Windows 10. You can also use these uh, uh, following methods to speed up your Windows 11 uh, device. So, First up before I start this video I wanted to thank you guys all for uh, 3000 views on my new video which was called the Roblox FPS Unlocker and also for 53 subs so yeah uh, let's begin so first up what you want to do is click on the search button and just type in control panel and it should open up the control panel and inside of the control panel in the drop down list you should see something called the power options click on the power option if you see it if you don't just normally open it after you opened it in the second row uh, no mind I'll reply, I'll reply to that later so uh, in the second row in the fifth one there is something called the power option it should look something like this just click on it it should open up the tab now by uh, normal uh, by default you should be looking something like this so which is called the balance recommended there is additional plans which I will be telling you guys about uh, in the second video that's just too much for you guys for this video so first up what you want to do is switch over to performance mode so performance mode as you guys know uh, increases your performance so uh, just click on that and click on change plan settings this might be uh, different for you but when on battery just click everything to never I accidentally pressed fires just click on never and when plugged in I uh, choose something such as 15 or 10 minutes such as turning off the display and putting the complete computer to sleep then just click on save changes go over to the plan settings again click on change advanced power settings and instead of here close out of this hard disk you don't want to mess with that then what you want to do is click on the desktop background settings click on the slideshow button and when it's on battery just pause click on pause it so if you guys didn't know by default uh, your windows computer will have a slideshow running in your wallpaper so just disable that to get more performance and i personally don't have that so i'll recommend just uh, pausing it when even plugged in so the next thing is intel hd graphics so this would be your processor's graphics so if you have an amd processor and an nvidia graphics card then your graphics settings from the uh, even, uh, amd cpu will be right here so it won't be intel it will be amd graphics settings so instead of the intel uh, graphics power plan just click on that and on battery and plugged in just click on maximum performance then go over to power processor power management and just choose all of these to maximum or 100% 100% and minimum process rate you can also on battery just turn that to 100% for mo most performance and let's just open that I accidentally exited that so uh, it should be all on 100% so that you get the maximum uh, possible and if it says a system cooling policy just turn that all to active system cooling po policy just basically turns on your fan and basically just makes your device uh, cool so uh, now what you want to do is go over to your graphics card settings so this is the graphics card so AMD graphics power settings AMD power play settings click on maximize performance because I barely run on battery life and if even if I'm running on battery plan I'll probably only run for like 5 or 10 minutes that's it so yeah then what you want to do is click on switchable dynamic graphics click on global settings and on battery choose for uh, force sorry maximum performance so optimized performance is like a 70 percent increase in your performance maximize is a hundred percent optimized power saving is basically 40 percent and force power saving graphics is 20 percent so maximize performance is something that i would like and when plugged in maximum performance is something i would still like just click on apply and that should be it click on ok and that should how it looks so 
now it's on performance you're running all good the next thing that you want to do is click on the action center button and just don't work about that so what you want to do is decrease your brightness so i had it on 100 percent but just decreasing it also gives you more power for your game or your uh, or your device to run the game or any other heavy resource task that you're going to watch this for so the next thing that you want to do is open up the system sorry system and it should be the system in the settings folder so this is the best match folder this is the apps folder and this is the settings folder just click on system it should open up your system specifications so currently here are my specifications for now and now what you want to do is go over to the display and when you're inside of the display you can change the brightness then you can go down to windows hd color and just basically turn all of these off so and if you have different display displays say such as three or four displays but you maximum uh, but you want your maximum performance to be high then you can just basically use one display so i'm on a laptop so it only has the internal display so the next thing is battery option when running a windows hd content on battery power optimized for image quality uh, the next thing that you can do is display resolution i have a separate guide on how to uh, choose your best display resolution and also to how to maximize it uh, inside of roblox or any other game for such so i'll leave a link down below to the description uh, so you guys can watch it so the next thing that you want to do is go to advanced display settings inside of the display settings set your refresh rate to 60 hertz setting your refresh rate to 60 hertz basically uh, makes your your performance just look a bit uh, less smoother so just feels a little uh, less smoother but uh, it's kind of like it looks hard but it isn't hard so uh, choose it as 60 hertz if you don't like it you can always return to your normal uh, resolution so click on graphic settings as next then you have two options microsoft store and desktop app so take roblox for ex uh, reference we have the uh, roblox in microsoft store and also the desktop app which is the browser edition so just click on microsoft store app if you use the microsoft store windows roblox the most then just click on more and then just choose roblox click add and click on options and then click on high performance click on save and that should high performance it now switch over to desktop app and just click on browse and open up your uh, roblox file so uh, to do that just win press windows and search up your game so currently it's roblox player and click on open file location file location is opened copy the link click on browse click on this and it should open up the roblox player so click on that and click add and click on options high performance and that's it so yeah uh, that's it for today's video guys thank you guys for watching and i hope this video really helped you guys and um, this is just the part one of the video so i'll also be making other new videos so that you guys can also get more performance from your laptop pc whatever you want to call it so yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.